Good evening everyone. As in the previous problem, I have discussed that how to find the intervals for any of the given equation in case of numerical analysis. Now, in this video, I would tell you that how to write one C program to find out the intervals, right? So for that purpose, I have written one C program over here. So you just have a look so that you could write it on your system, okay? So, this is the program which you have to make. Write a program in C to find the intervals for the given equation that is x cube minus 4x minus 9. And once like you would be, will like create the program for it, then obviously you could change the equations, right? You could change the equation as well as like you could change the like values for x as well. Just like you could take in place of 0 to 10, you could take, like just find out the intervals between 2.3 till 2.10. Okay. So once like you would create the C program for it, then after that, obviously, like with the help of computer, you could find the number of intervals, even though in a case of floating point numbers as well. Right. So now have a look. In case of C program, first of all, we would include one standard input output header file right why because we need the function that is printf and scanf that is why what we are doing we are including one header file over here that is stdio.h okay now what we are doing like this is the main function but before that like i'm just creating one separate function one separate function i'm just creating so that there would be no confusion Okay, as like in case of CVNST, we would talk about the number of equations. So that is why like in each and every method, in each and every method, we would try to create one separate function every time. Okay, so like uh, in case of this program as well, I have taken one separate function that is float f. Float f, why I have taken float? Because the numbers which we would get or uh, like it could be in decimal form as well okay so that is why like in case of CMST each and every time like we just try to take the like data type just like float as well as double okay so I have taken one uh, function that is float f after that like uh, within bracket I have taken like how many values we just want within this program we just try to find out the intervals Okay, so I just need only one value, right, for x, because we would change the value for x, right, so that is why I have taken or I have passed one value over here, that is float x, right, I have taken float over here, why so, because uh, like uh, obviously, so that you could take the intervals for x, just like in floating point numbers, okay, you could say, like just try to find out the intervals between a like uh, range that is 0 0.5 till 1.2 okay so just like that obviously you could try to find out the roots now uh, okay what we are doing in this function we are just returning uh, the value for the equation that is x cube minus 4x minus 9 so ye aapki ek equation hai jo ki given hai question mein right हम इस फंक्शन के थ्रू क्या यहां पर कर रहे हैं लाइक एज वी हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू फॉर x सो दैट इज व्हाई आई एम जस्ट रिटर्निंग द वैल्यू फॉर दिस इक्वेशन ओके आफ्टर दैट वी जस्ट क्लोज इट सो दिस इज वन सेपरेट फंक्शन फॉर द इक्वेशन राइट नाउ इन द मेन फंक्शन व्हाट वी वुड डू जस्ट हैव अ लुक इन केस ऑफ int मेन फंक्शन वी वुड टेक लाइक द लाइक वी वुड डिक्लेअर वन वेरिएबल दैट इज i व्हाई बिकॉज़ इन केस ऑफ i आई वुड टेक the number of values for x right so after that like i'm just taking two function f1 and f2 right because uh, like i need to compare like two values no? whether the first value is negative value and the other value is positive value right so i need the comparison i need to do the comparison within this program so that is why what i'm doing i'm just taking two floating point uh, like variables over here that is f1 and f2 right now uh, like as uh, 
like the value for x has been given in the question as in the previous video i have told you that for example the value for x is like 0 till 10 okay so you have to find out the intervals between this range only okay so try to solve uh, like this kind of uh, problem first of all after that obviously this problem could be changed right and you could get the answer okay so after that what you are doing like you are taking one for loop because iteration would be done over here okay so for i equals to 0 then i is less than 10 and i plus plus okay now in this for loop as this is the range for for loop okay this is the range and this is the range for main function okay so in case of this what i'm doing like f1 equals to f of i okay so in case of f1 what uh, you are uh, like trying to implement like f now you are just calling your function okay you are just calling the function that is f and where you have given the definition of it this is function calling okay this is function calling and this part is function definition okay here you are calling your function f of i you are just calling this function that is f okay so the value of i that is zero uh, right now okay so that would be uh, like obviously it would be put it over here right it would be zero so it like it would return the value for like if you are putting zero into x okay so what you would get you would get minus nine right after that in case of f2 what you are doing like the value would be incremented by one like f i plus one so this time the value for i would be one okay after that again you are calling the function that is f okay so the one would be put it over here after that it would be calculated right so this time we are just having two values like first one for zero and the second one for one after that the comparison would be done okay we would write one if condition over here right so what would be the if condition as i have told you that one root like the root for any of the equation always lies between a positive or a negative number okay or it could be like a negative or a positive number okay so that is why like i have written one condition over here that is if the value for f1 is less than zero that means if the value for f1 is negative so yes in the first time it is negative right because we were getting minus nine then and and means aapki jo uh, like f1 ki value hai wo negative hai or uh, or nahi and means f1 ki value negative hai or f2 ki value greater than 0 hai means a positive number hai to yaha par kya ho jaye aapki condition true ho jayegi and then the intervals could get will, will be printed all of this way ya fir right ya fir yani ki aapki or ki jo condition hai wo kehti hai ki aapki f1 ki value positive ho means greater than 0 that means f1 ki value positive hai or f2 ki value is less than 0 that means it is negative okay so this is the opposite of this condition but agar dono mein se koi bhi condition true hai then obviously like the intervals would get printed onto the screen and the condition would be stopped okay so printf the intervals for the given equation is percentage d because we are uh, like printing the intervals in a form of like integer type value okay so uh, obviously in case of this uh, the total intervals would get selected right and it would be printed on the screen right like between the range 0 till 10 right the numbers the intervals whatever you would get and obviously it would get printed on the screen okay so uh, in the range from 0 till 10 we are getting the intervals that is 2 comma 3 so it would get printed onto the screen that is like i and i plus 1 okay and after that like this for uh, loop would be closed and after that like your main function would be closed over here right so after that you would run your program and after that you could get the intervals for the given equation that is x cube minus 4x minus 9 okay so you just try to write this program onto your computer system and after that you just run it and try to change the equation as well and even though if you want to change the like range obviously you could change it 
and if you like this video then obviously you just like it and uh, do comment in the comment box okay so till then thank you so much